We come on the air, local doctors, they are reporting that Tennessee is now number one in the United States for daily new COVID-19 cases per population. To really put that into perspective for you this morning, in our state, as if we were an independent nation, we would be number two for new COVID cases in the entire world. Now, yesterday, 3,100 new cases were added to our state's tally, along with 36 new deaths. Meantime, we remain in the bottom 10 states when it comes to vaccination rates as our percentage of fully vaccinated people continues to hover around 42%. I think this fourth surge has really came up really quickly. Now with the hospitalizations on the rise, Metro is adding more testing here in Nashville and News Force Ryan Breslin is live this morning as the city gets ready to open a new community assessment center next week. Good morning, Ryan. Hey, good morning to you, Brittany. The new center will be here near Centennial Park on 28th Avenue North at the 31st Avenue connector. It's to make up for the long lines that the former Kmart Center is seeing now that COVID-19 cases are going up and the other two community assessment centers are closed. Now those after those two closer closures, testing has been offered at pop up vaccine clinics, but some have found tests hard to come by, especially as their children become exposed at school and need to get COVID testing done through their pediatrician. Rapid tests have been even hard to get at pharmacies during a Metro COVID-19 task force meeting yesterday. Council members wanted to know what is different now with testing compared to last year. This thing's worn everyone out. 18 sure. months of wearing healthcare workers out. A lot of us have been accosted publicly. Um, and I just, and I'm not, that's not, this is not making excuses, but it's just, I, I, workforce issues are becoming harder. But, but um, to turn up an operation that can do 1,200 tests or more a day is also not something you can do overnight. Because of the requirements now uh, to have a shown, shown that you have been vaccinated, these concerts, Bonnaroo, Rolling Stones, you know, Dave Chappelle, all these concerts that are coming, people were trying to uh, quickly get their vaccination uh, or quickly be tested to show, show uh, uh, that they've had these. So we got a big surge. Now, obviously, some of those concerts like Bonnaroo and the Dave Chappelle show have been postponed, but the task force says that they wanted to get the community assessment center set up for this week. But because of staffing issues, it will happen next week. It opens on Tuesday. It opens from 7 a.m. until 1 p.m. in the afternoon.